what's going on guys this is Joe welcome back to City Skylines I wasn't going to do two City Skyline videos back to back but I'm really excited I just bought all of the DLC for this game and look how great this game looks it looks so much better and I remember last episode I was talking about the pollution over here and it was like all white and pink it looks so much better I cannot believe how great the DLC makes this game look I bought the Natural Disasters, the After Dark, I, I bought all of the ones that Steam had. I'm going to go ahead and put a screenshot right here so you guys can see a comparison of what this video game used to look like before the DLC and what it looks like now. I cannot get over how beautiful this game looks. I'm not sure what we're going to do in this video yet. We're at $26,000. I think we left off on getting the milestone and I think we unlocked the fire station yeah the fire station the police station and I think that was it I can't remember let me go ahead and place a fire station I'm gonna put that maybe right here okay now I think because of the natural disasters mod because I don't remember it being like that before all of the trees are red and when I place the fire department down the trees that were around it turned blue so I think that means that that area is safer from fires I'm not entirely sure I don't know too much about the DLCs yet let me put in a police station as well where do I want to put that maybe I'll put it right here alright what are we at? We're at oh wow three thousand dollars already I was just at twenty six thousand I think I'm gonna have to take out a loan let me uh, sixty thousand dollar loan total payback is sixty six thousand all right we don't really have much of a choice yeah I'm gonna have to because I can see up here that our energy is starting to go down so I'm gonna have to build a, another coal power plant so let me go ahead and do that really quick Alright, so I just placed another coal power plant. There we go. Everything's getting power now. I think, yeah, we were using up way too much electricity. Our production, I think, was at 54. and Or, I'm sorry, our production was at 51. And our consumption was at 54. And now we're doing a lot better. I'm going to try to expand upon this town. I think I'm going to do something here in the middle. It's going to knock down some houses, but we are going to need to start bringing in more money because right now we're at $125. I think I think we get paid three times every day, so it's not a whole lot that we're making. Let me try to do this in a way that it's not going to destroy a bunch of houses. All right, so now we have a straight shot through and I think maybe come right through here wow that road is not even <laughs> alright um, now I need to do power lines powers done alright so the power should be good now now oh we need water do the water and the sewage. There's that. And there's that. Alright, so everything's connected. Now what is this? Heating pipes. Oh, okay. I don't know if that was in the previous episode or not. I don't know if that's part of a DLC. That'll be kind of interesting to see how that's going to work. I don't know if that's going to be too much of a pain to do man I cannot get over how great this game looks it's just it's mind-boggling I used to love this game and now I think that it's probably my absolute most favorite game I, I just I can't get over the quality of it just from a couple of DLCs that completely blows my mind now I wonder oh that's what I need to do I need to do zoning I was wondering why nobody was moving in that makes a lot of sense all right, so the we're gonna do residential zoning all throughout here I don't think we've unlocked any of the parks no we haven't done any of that yet we have to reach 1500 population we're at 
1180. So let me let this run for a little bit to reach that milestone. I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, so we're almost there. I have it sped up three times faster than normal speed. We're at 1481. So we should be getting it here any second. Alright, so we just hit this 1500 population milestone. Let's see what we unlocked. Looks like landscaping, event policies, parks and plazas, which is really nice because then more people will be attracted to your city and there's more of a chance people will move in or even just spend money in like the commercial areas. Uh, level 2 unique buildings. I think that's kind of like, I think we already unlocked the Statue of Liberty building. So I'm not sure what other types of buildings that will include. Looks like football stadiums. Okay, that would be really nice. Uh, pet bands, smoking bands. Now I remember this from when I first started playing this game. This can either make a lot of people really happy or a lot of people upset. So I don't know if I'm going to mess around with that yet. Uh, match security. What is match security? Oh, okay, for the stadiums, uh, you can hire security to patrol the area to keep crime low, which is really, really nice. Uh, new roads, gravel path, pavement path, and bicycle path. Bicycle path will make a lot of people happy. I'm not really sure what you'd use gravel path for, though. New canals. What are, what are canals? I don't remember this being in the original... Um... I don't know. There's a flood wall. I have to look more into that. All right, so these are the parks and plazas that we unlocked so far. It looks like... Okay, cool. We unlocked the high school because right now we only have the elementary school. And I believe the last time that I looked, um, it was like 30% of the entire population is um, educated and it's only elementary school. So I think once you put more high schools and I think you can get colleges as well that the people become more educated and start earning more money and they will eventually spend more money so you in turn make more money as the city manager um, let's see okay cool carousel park bouncy castle park a basketball court alright so I think I'm going to put in a Japanese garden because right now it there's no pollution for this so I think I'm gonna put this and it should make a decent amount of people happy okay not as much as I had hoped but let's see what else we can put in botanical garden oh that's fifteen thousand dollars it's a little too much right now what else do we oh basketball court let me put in the basketball court it's only four thousand uh, dollars I'm gonna have to redo the power line There we go. Alright, so now that's there. I think I'm going to try to put in another police station and fire station because it's not covering the entire area. Yeah, this whole entire area right here. And I think that the industrial zone is more susceptible to catching fire. So I'm going to try to do this. Alright. I think that should cover just about everybody then for the fire service and let's put in a police station right there alright so I think everybody is pretty much covered and everybody is happy I'm gonna try to mess around with the budget and the taxes a little bit I don't want to do it too much because it's going to make people unhappy. I'm going to raise everything by 1%. So that way we'll start making a little bit more money. Because I, I can't keep taking out loans. It, the next loan I can take out is when I reach a population of 20,000 people. And right now we are at 1,600 people. So it's going to be a long time before I can take out another loan. Alright, so I'm going to play around with the budget a little bit. I don't want to keep messing around with this too much. What do we have here? This is the education. I think I'm going to lower this just a little bit. And this is the parks and plazas. We don't need that much. So I'm going to lower that. Alright. 
what is this? This is... Oh, I'm not even going to mess with that because I don't think we have any unique buildings built right now. These are the road maintenances. There we go. I think maybe... Yeah, let's drop the garbage facility down just a little bit. Okay, so, wow, we are making a lot more. We were doing, I think, $100 three times a day, and now we're at $1,400 three times a day. So we should start seeing a bigger return on all the stuff that we're buying. All right, so I just found this tab. It's under the landscaping and disasters. <laughs> I didn't realize that you could place the disasters I'm not sure why you would want to do that I kind of thought that the natural disasters would naturally happen and maybe they do but I guess you can kind of help them along I don't think I'm gonna mess around with that too much just because I'm starting to build up the population and I'm starting to get more money maybe later on I'll try to play around with it and see how well the fire department is working, how well the police department is working, um, all of the emergency services, and see how well the city can handle a natural disaster. I'm not sure what else to do in this episode. Oh, our electricity consumption is at 47 and our production is at 51. Man, I'm going to have to put in another power plant at some point. Alright, so I think I'm going to leave this episode here. I don't want to keep expanding too much too quickly per episode. I don't want to end up like we did last time where I had to redo the entire city because I lost so much money and I couldn't come back from it. So I think I'm going to let this run in the background on my desktop for the next couple days so that way next week when I do make a video I can purchase a bunch of parks and plazas. I can expand our commercial zone over here. I think I'm going to expand our residential zone out this way and maybe add some more industrial zones over here so if you guys did like this video please press the like button comment share and if you could subscribe and i'll see you guys next time